I don't understand and I wouldn't want to go forward either. So when you went back, so what, so suppose you went back to caveman times, right? You you are you, right? You'd fit in fine. Well, I'd be brilliant. Yeah. I'd be the king. Maybe. No, I would. Right, what would you do then? No, would you... like you said, they'd be waiting. They'd go, they'd go, they'd go. slightly different isn't it no it's not it's exactly the same we haven't changed bodily i've got a pair of pants on right so you go back naked so you'd fit in no well because i'd look all pale and no no no. you wouldn't go back naked or they go they would take your pants off the first thing they do if you went there with pants they would rip your pants off no they wouldn't they would they you wouldn't. can't go back with pants on you've got to go back naked it's summer they're walking around naked why would you go with pants on? Before you get in the time machine, you'd have to take your pants off. No, because I want to come across like I'm something from the future. Okay. So I walk in. They're going, whoa. What are they doing? What do they say? They just can't believe it. They're going, what's going on? What do you say? I say, I'm just visiting. What are you wearing then? What are you Jean, wearing? Jean, this. I've gone like this. Okay. They would definitely want to see... No, they wouldn't. They would, to they wouldn't, because they're sick of seeing it. To them, it's like being on a nudist beach. They're no longer looking at cock and bollocks and tits and arse. They're seeing it every day. To them, it isn't weird. To me, I'll probably be looking at them. Go and put some pants on. I don't understand why they couldn't do that, really. They, I think they did the wheel before the pants. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, I think they did. I think they did. I think they did. Biology. The life sciences. Isn't it amazing that we're here, that anything is here, that we're having a chat now in front of these cameras for a DVD extra and we started off as a single cell, a blob, a little thing that had the right temperature in the right compound, the right minerals, ultraviolet, that little thing happened, this little nucleus, it was just a, just a cell. Okay? But I don't like thinking about that. And then it divided, then it... Yeah. Got a skin, and then... Yeah. I don't want to know, you know, when people get in touch from Friends Reunited, I go, that was 20 years ago, I don't want to know. Right. So I certainly don't want to know about 30 million years ago. Okay. I want my little time zone that I'm right. born, I live, and I die in. Okay. That's all I can worry about. It doesn't fascinate you at all. It doesn't fascinate it you at amazing, all. It is amazing, but it hurts your head, doesn't it? I don't the, the, like the, it. I don't just like by it. chance, something happened, uh, a genetic mutation, and that, and that, and then that was chosen by nature. It worked. It survived. Okay? But certain things work, and they're not that impressive, like slugs. You always say, well, it's evolved. It hasn't evolved. Okay. We share about 70% of our genetic material with a slug. What 70%? Well... What, what 70% has that got that I've got? It's got 70%. I've coughed up stuff that looks like a slug. If that's a 70% you're talking about, but there's nothing else, nothing in a slug. There is. Nothing. You share, you share DNA with an onion. I've heard that. That's the roundness of the head, probably. I'm telling you that the slug has about 70% of the same genetic material as the human species. We're that close. We're that close. All the hard work, all the hard work was done then in terms of like getting it right. A slug got it right. A slug is as evolved as us. It's perfect. It's not perfect. Why? Okay. Definitely not perfect. Why? Why isn't it perfect? It's just not great. I've, I've, I've had to deal with slugs a lot when they were like blocking up my shower. Right. There's a gang of them in the tube. How can they be uh, as evolved as me? What are they doing? Uh, Sat there. Uh, just all mush. Mushified. <laughs> mushified! Right. Talk me through it. What happened? Just was having a shower and the shower basin filled up. I was right. Like, What's going on here? Yeah. So I got a plunger. Right. So sort of bits of black stuff. I'm thinking, what is this? I had to unscrew the, the the plug hole bit, 
couldn't quite get down there. Yeah. To take the tiles off the side of the shower thing. Right. Got in there, unscrewed it all, got the pipe. Just slugs all in there. All sat in there, blocking it up. Don't right. know how they got in there. But that's what I'm saying to you. They don't know what they're doing. What they're doing, knocking about in there. Get out! <laughs> now, what are they doing? I don't know to this day what they do. I watch insects, they, you know I like insects. They survive. That's what they do. They're chosen yeah, but by they nature. Don't know. There's, there's another one. There's loads of insects knocking about the house. There's a spider in the outside shed. It's not an insect, nor is a slug. A slug is a mollusk, a spider's an arachnid. All right. Okay. The spider's in the cupboard outside. Right. I'm not joking. It's been there now for about two years. Right. Could be three. Okay. Same one. It's quite big. Right. Just sits there in the corner. Right. I go in. I smash its web up. Why? Because I don't want it there. Right, fine. I don't want to kill a spider. Right. But I'm sort of saying, I'm wrecking your house. If you move, there's no problem. Move. I go back. It's built its web again. Just right. sat there like that. Doing nothing. <laughs> What is the point? <laughs> well, it's not doing nothing, is it? Well, it's building its house. Every it's time hunting. I it. It's hunting. It's not even doing that. Well, it is. That's what it. Ha that's how it does it. It's made. A, it's made a web, and things fly into it. Then it wraps them up, sucks the juice out. Right. But for what? To then sit in this shed. And it's what not are you doing? Existence. What Why are you... didn't it go? But you're eating. You're staying in your flat. You want to go back to Mallorca five years ago. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it depends. I've been... Who knows, who knows what's going to happen in another billion years? You'll be the slug. The human race could be the slugs. There could be this amazing being that, that, that evolved from us going, what are they doing? People go, well, you know, 70% of their genetic material. You don't know how it's going to go. You stood on the shoulder of giants. You stood on a few slugs, you told me, in your flat. But... We share our ancestry with those slugs. We are related to slugs. I have never watched Who Do You Think You Are? And they've gone, they've gone in your family tree. Do you know uh, Terry the Slug? He's a great uncle of yours. We don't need to know where we've come from. And nobody would want to hear that either on that programme. You would not want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, but you're... There's nothing to do with us. Oh. It's happened, it's all, all an accident. But it's a matter of degrees. Your brother, right, okay, very close to you. Your cousin. I haven't seen him for about 12 years. <laughs> okay, genetically speaking, couldn't get closer, okay? It's the closest you can be, a brother, a son, a mother, to accept, you know, accept a clone, an identical twin, okay? So, cousin, a bit less, great cousin, da -da -da. bloke around the world, da -da -da. chimp. Marmot. Mouse. Bird. I don't know what you're doing now, you're just saying words at me. What's a marmot? <laughs> doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but you're related to him. You're related to him. With all our evolution, now we can sit around doing Sudoku and inflaming our mind and inventing art and stuff. Um, so I want to I wanna use, to use you know, scientific method. Let's use a bit of logic, okay? I'll give you a couple of conundrums because I want to see how, how you've evolved, okay? Um, there's two children sitting on a bench. Yeah. Okay? Okay? Billy? Yeah. Okay. There's a boy and a girl. Okay? They're the, they're the kids on the bench. Yeah. There's a boy and a girl sat on a bench. Yeah. The blonde-haired child... Yeah. ...says... ...I'm a girl. Right. The brown-haired child says, I'm a boy. At least one of the children are lying. Which one's the boy and which one's the girl? But what else can I see there? Can you I tell by the way they look or am I blind? No, no you can't see. I'm blind. Yeah, you can't see. I'm just, I'm telling you. There's still the information you need. And they actually sound, I can tell by voice. No, or... no, no, you can't. No, 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 no. You can't. I'm telling you, okay? So hang on. Say, Two say children sitting your... on the bench, right? You've come to me, I haven't seen these. No, no. I've not heard them. You've come no. to me and yeah. said, I've just been in the park. Yeah, yeah. Say again, I've just been in the park. Yeah. And I've seen yeah. a lad and a girl. One had brown hair, one had blonde hair. 
Yeah. The 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 blonde haired child said I'm a girl. Yeah. The brown haired child said I'm a boy. At least one of them is lying. Which one's the girl and which one's the boy? I don't know. Who well, think? I don't want to. Why don't you want to? I don't want to work it out. It's a very easy one. Just think through the scenarios in your head. I'm a girl. Who said that? The brown haired one. I'm a no, girl. the blonde haired one said I'm a girl. One of them is lying. Yeah, at least one of them is lying. The lad. So just the just the boy is lying. Oh, well, both of them are. Well, they've got to be both lying, haven't they? Why? Because there's a boy and a girl there. One of them saying they're a girl, one saying they're a boy. Yeah. So if one of them's lying. But they're both lying. They have to be both lying. So the blonde-haired kid's a boy. Right. See. But what 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 are we, what are you doing with that? Because it trains the mind to think logically, to think through it. That's, that's imposing a scientific method.